Okay, welcome back to my World Cup series, my World Cup jaunt through a few versions of Football Manager. This is the second episode in Football Manager 2014 and we are Brazil in this particular World Cup. Uh, so just to fill you in, what has gone down in, in the previous games, of course I was doing some friendlies, they actually went very, very, very well. As you can see, I will show you the goals right now before we move on with the game. So this is the first game against Spain. Uh, it was pretty even, I think. Um, I think maybe we shaded it slightly, certainly in the final third, but Neymar scored uh, the first goal uh, after just two minutes. He then doubled his tally and doubled our lead on 23 minutes, and that was really it. Um, Spain have been made favourites for the World Cup, so the fact we were able to beat them 2-0 in a friendly was certainly a confidence boost, not just to the team, but myself as well. Uh, the next game was against uh, the USA, so a slightly easier opposition. Uh, we did score go uh, more goals, but we did concede as well. Uh, Osvaldo, our striker, put us ahead uh, on 8 minutes. However, Clint Dempsey pulled one back on 13 minutes. Uh, Oscar restored our lead on 17 minutes. And Lucas Moura put us uh, two goals in front on 25 minutes. Just after half-time, Edgar Castillo, one of the uh, US defenders, I think, uh, scored an own goal, which came from a corner, I believe. But Clint Dempsey uh, pulled one back for the US with uh, just, over, uh, just under 20 minutes to play. Uh, but ultimately we held out for the win and that gave us uh, our second friendly win out of two, or out of three if you count the Portugal game in March. So 4-2 there, pretty good. Then we came up against Germany, who of course beat Brazil 7-1 in the semi-finals of the real edition of this uh, championship. Uh, obviously this is just a friendly, but it was pretty entertaining. Uh, Neymar put us ahead just after half-time on 47 minutes. Marcus Zich put uh, Germany level, or pulled Germany level, on 59 minutes. However, straight from kickoff uh, from that goal, we went down the other end, and uh, in the same minute as Germany got their goal, 59, Neymar ran through and uh, put us back in the lead, and it stayed like that until full time. Uh, and for those that don't know Germany, there's no licences for the German international players, so all their players, as you can see, are uh, fake. They are just greyed out players. So, like, we could type it. How do you search? Let's search for a German player. What German players do we know? Close is still playing in this version. Let's type uh, close in there. Uh, there's Miroslav Klose. So, as you can see, it says he's got his caps and goals tally for Germany, but they're not able to use him in the actual squad due to licensing or something like that. So one of the few examples where that, is, or one of the few cases where that it occurs, it does happen uh, in a few other teams throughout a uh, football manager, but for the most part, I think they've got the licenses, uh, which is good. So those were our friendly games, three wins, which is good. The squad, I think, is in good nick. Everyone should have a decent morale. Yep, so they're, that's good because going into the World Cup last time with the Dutch, there was a few players that had abysmal morale, so um, we had to leave them out. However, this time it's good. Everyone's uh, happy or fairly happy, so uh, we should do okay. So first of all, let's have a look at the World Cup odds. As you can see, uh, Spain are 5-2 to two favourites to win the World Cup, and then there's Germany, Argentina, we're 6-1, to one. France are 15-2, to two, and Italy are 8-1. to one. The bookmakers think that we will heavily be heavily involved in the latter stages of the tournament. One might even say that uh, there's a real possibility of you going all the way and winning it. Um, so, the odds are in our favour, currently, um, but obviously anything could happen. Um, previously, let's just continue the game, previously in the England and the Dutch runs to the final, we didn't come up against any of the big, big nations, well, until the semi-finals with England uh, and until the final with uh, the Netherlands, so you never know. We might be unlucky here with Brazil and have to face good opposition each time. Uh, if you think back to our run to the final with the Netherlands, had Brazil come second in their group, we would have had to play them in the second round, and we might have gone out. It's just one of these things. 
Uh, so we'll give most people their favourite number. Unfortunately, two people like number seven. I've never seen a case of a player being unhappy at not being given their preferred squad number, so we should be okay. All right, for pre-match training, I think we're going to go for attacking movement. We're going to... Actually, no, I think our attacking movement's fine. We'll go for... Oh, no, defensive set pieces. We seem to struggle with defending set pieces, so we'll do that. Um, Tactic-wise, we haven't really learned our formations, so we're just going to have to... Um, hope that it's sufficient to get us through the group stage at least um, but yeah it's the game it's game day it's time for the opening of the 2014 World Cup we are in the opening game because of course we are hosts uh, so technically every game's a home game oh darn it Neymar still in need of a rest the question is do we leave him out of this game or do we just play him and what's the benefit what's the well the benefits of playing him is we get our best player I guess the disadvantage is maybe he's just not up to scratch. If we play him in this game, we can maybe rest him in the next game. Because the next game is against Greece and they're probably the weakest team. Yeah, Mexico are the strongest team. We need to play Neymar. I was going to say, it's pretty cool because we don't have any injuries. Everyone's happy. Uh, clean bill of health. But unfortunately, he's tired. But he's got 96% condition. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to play him and then rest him in the next game, I think. I, I trust all my attacking midfielders, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, the squad I'm going to go for is... I'm going to put Osvaldo up front, because he played pretty well, I think, in the friendlies. We'll put Neymar on the left. Coutinho, question marks over him in, this, uh, in the playmaker position, but I'm just going to leave him there. Uh, he's only got four caps as well. We're going to play Lucas Moura on the right, I think. What other options do we have? Bernard... Bernard did okay, but I liked I liked Moura. I liked what he was doing. We'll just play Sandro and Lucas uh, in defensive midfield. They did fairly well in their game, or their the games they got. And then at fullback, well, Thiago Silva hasn't actually played, but I think we'll play him over either Alex or Derry. We'll play Thiago Silva instead of Alex. I think we should do that. He, he, as I said, he didn't actually play at all in any of the friendlies. I forgot to play him, <laughs> which is kind of bad. Um, but there you go. Uh, hopefully he'll do okay against Mexico. And we don't have that lot. We've only got four days until the next game. So it's, it's a, there's a lot of games. This is going to be very, very challenging. It's, and and travelling, of course, is going to take its toll. Uh, let's see. Keeper I'm happy with. Oh yeah, change the fullbacks. I rested... Um, Marcelo and Dani Alves against uh, well the last two teams we played the US and Germany so that they were in well they had decent fitness for this game yeah apart from Neymar I think everybody should be fine we're going to just go for the same sort of team instructions I think now th things could go down the drain here pretty quickly um, we never fell behind I don't think in any of our friendlies so yeah, we'll just have to see how we do. But first game, first game of the tournament. Let's see how it goes. Got a few good players here. Javier Hernandez, or Javier Hernandez, for Manchester United. We've got uh, Jose, uh, Jorge Enrique. We've got, is that Herrera? Yeah, that's Herrera for Porto. Uh, we've got, they've got five at the back, which is interesting. Hopefully our attacking play will be able to cope with that. Alright, let's give them a somewhat positive team talk. There we go. A few people were delighted. Uh, let's see how we do. So, straight from kickoff, we are in our changed kit of blue. It's completely blue, which doesn't look good in my opinion, but there you go. Alright, we need to try and retain possession a bit more, but we do have a corner. Marcelo swings it over. It's back out to Lucas. He's taking a shot. Oh, come on, get the header in. I might have to take Neymar off at some point. If we're winning at some point, I might take Neymar off. Uh, they've got the ball. And there we go. Right, I think what we're going to do actually is look to play with a lower tempo. And yeah, that should be fine, hopefully. And right, we've got another corner. Not very good at set pieces. Oh, wait, he fell over. Penalty. <laughs> I'm kidding, I have no idea. I couldn't see what was happening. Look at that, you can see the shadow of the top of the stand. No, why is the keeper going all the way out there? Oh, and he passed it back across the face of goal. It's not been a very eventful first half. They've just kind of kept the ball. We might have to press forward a bit more, but we are playing at slightly, uh, a slightly lower tempo. We've got quite a few people in. Here's Neymar, and it's a goal. 1-0 to Brazil in the opening game of the World Cup. It only took us... Well, I say only. We scored quite early in a lot of our friendlies, so... It took us 33 minutes to get on the score sheet here. Got another chance. Barcelo throws it to Sandro. 
I've instructed them to not to cross too often, but they still do it anyway. Oh dear, here we go, Mexico. I wonder if they're playing more counter-attack. What the heck? He just gave it away. Why would you do that? He's given it to Osvaldo. Osvaldo was hacked to the ground, but they got the ball, so it's okay. Uh, Danny Alves down the right-hand side. Ball in the middle, and it's 2-0. The Neymar was on side, justifying his inclusion with his second goal of the game. Um, I think we should be fine with like the instructions we got. The one weakness is our fullbacks attack, which is what the real life Brazil team did. Oh dear, that was unlucky. Um, but yeah, the real Brazil team, you know, in real life, the Brazil team have attacking fullbacks, and I decided to go with that. Um, however, if they don't get back in time, it could be detrimental to our game. Header forward, it's uh, ended up with uh, the Mexicans. Oh, good tackle, good tackle there by Sandro. Just need to stop them from scoring, preferably. Hernandez uh, is offside, so we're all good. It's almost half time, 2 0 up. It's good position. All right, there we go. Half time. Uh, people are doing, are generally doing okay, I think. Neymar has two goals. Both of the assists came from Danny Alves, it looked like. Um, you've played well. I'm very pleased with your performance. It'll say that. Um, and then we'll go to the overview. Everyone's in good health, it looks like. Like, Neymar's not even lost that much, so I think we'll go with the philosophy of just stick with the same team if it's doing well, which they are. They're doing well. The graphics are really strange. Here we go. Log throw from Marcelo. Threw it straight to the Mexicans. Neymar does have it, though. Back to Sandro. Crossed his defensive midfield partner, Lucas. Come on. Play the ball across. Play the ball across. Just easy pass. Playing Danny Alves. What are you doing? All right, okay, whatever. Neymar, he's on a hat trick, but he skews the ball wide. Danny Alves was open there, not once, but twice. Here we go then. Danny Alves is finally in possession, but he has to take a throw in. Oh, that was two-footed. That was two-footed. Herrera could be in trouble here. Nah, he's been, he's been allowed to stay on the pitch. It looked like it was two-footed, but uh, I'm not the referee, so I don't have to... I, I don't make these calls. Ball to the middle. Uh, the, it's up in the air. Oh, he, he saved it. He did save it. It looked like it was going to bounce like in front of the goal line, which would have been a catastrophe f f for Mexico. Ball in the middle, Thiago Silva, and he's missed again. Here we go. Free kick, Neymar takes it, and he's missed it. Oh, looks like we might have an injury. Look at... Yeah, okay, we're going to have to take him off. It looks like Neymar's going to stay on for a bit longer. Who should we bring on instead? Ooh, let's bring on Oscar. I don't know why I didn't start with Oscar, because Oscar's actually quite good. Uh, so we'll bring Oscar on for Lucas. One of their players is injured, it looks like. I don't recognise that name. Here's Neymar. Right-footed in-swinger. Uh, straight the keeper. Wasn't he good enough? And four of our players are in front of the entire Mexico team, which isn't good. Thankfully, oh no. I was going to say, thankfully, Thiago Silva was there to clean up, but he lost the header. Or... Our uh, keeper Jefferson has it though. Good passage of play here. Danny Alves has been fouled by Carlos Salcido. Salcido. Okay, I can't pronounce. I'm bad at pronouncing foreign names. I apologise. Oh, it's red. That didn't look nearly as bad as the one earlier. But I mean, again, I'm not the ref. Here we go, Marcelo with the corner. Can Thiago Silva get on the score sheet? He's gone to the back post this time. Coutinho brings it down well. Oscar has a shot at goal, and it's gone in the net. It's 3-0. That is fantastic. Great piece of play there. Great shot. 3-0. Is that tie over? Maybe. We've just got to make sure that we hold out. Uh, I'm tempted to take Neymar off. Coutinho's, it says Coutinho's a bit more knackered than Neymar, but Neymar is in need of a rest. I don't really want to take him off when he's on a hat-trick, though. You know what I mean? So I think we'll leave him on. We'll we'll leave everyone on for now. Maybe make a change in about five minutes or so. But so far, things are going well. Gets the ball there to Sandro. Yeah, we're passing about really well, which is very pleasing. Ball to Dani Alves, and it's been deflected behind for a corner kick. Isn't it just so cool playing as Brazil? I don't know why. There's just something so cool about it. Anyway, corner into the back post. Deddy was up there. He never won the header, though. Marcel's going to bring another ball in. Keeper looks like he was fouled there, but instead it's a corner. Alright, Danny Alves. 
swings the ball in. Nobody was there. Come on, swing it back across. Oh, that's another corner. Right, let's... Um, it's time to maybe make a sub. Yeah, we're going to leave Neymar on, I think. We're going to bring uh, Coutinho off. We're going to play Oscar as the playmaker. And, yeah, well, that's all the changes we'll make for now. Another corner here. Bernard into the middle. And it's ended up in the net. Was that an own goal or did he score straight from the corner? I think it was an own goal. I didn't actually see the scorer when it came up. But, who cares? We're 4-0 up. People are looking complacent. No, no one's looking complacent. Everyone's just calm and confident. I keep forgetting we've got a man extra, which probably helps. Right, let's try and stop them from scoring. A 4-0 win would be amazing to start the tournament off. Castro. I'm pretty sure that's the name of a FIFA streamer. Ball over. Oh, good good interception there from Thiago Silva. And we're going to hopefully play the ball forward. Oh, and he's been fouled. Israel Castro. That's an interesting name. Uh, can't say it's one I would want to have, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, right, Lucas, I think we'll take him off. He's playing well, actually. See, that's the thing. Who do we bring off? Danny Alves is having a brilliant game. So is Neymar. Deddy then, with possession, plays the ball into Neymar. Passes it to Oscar. All right, Neymar, come on. He plays it, he plays it through Marcelo. Takes a shot at goal. It's a good save there by Corona, the keeper. And it's a corner. Ball across. And there's only one guy back. <laughs> the entirety of the Mexican team was camping in their box, which uh, I guess is understandable. Thiago Silva's taking a knock. Should we maybe quick sub him, though? I'm going to take him off, actually. Yeah, let's take him off. I don't want that to flare up to anything bad. They've not made the sub yet. Oh, no, they have. It's game over. A 4-0 win to start the tournament. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, let's go past it. There we go. Right, let's uh, head off. So, let's find out what the uh, other group game was between Greece and the other team. Who's the other team? Algeria. Algeria's the other team. Neymar on form. Osvaldo delighted. Yep, lots of positivity in the camp. To say that particular result was on the cards would be an exaggeration. Just how pleased were you by the outcome? Team deserve credit for the way they played. Everyone enjoyed Oscar's goal. Magnificent strike there. Neymar was outstanding. Oh, we only got three questions. Uh, the downside is there's a few people in need of a rest. So we'll have to... Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see how the next game pans out. We'll see if they're still in need of a rest by the time the Greece game comes around. If they are, we might just have to rest them. Th that game was a draw, which is probably good. It means there's no immediate challengers to our top spot. But as you can see, after one set of games, we are top with three points. A decent goal difference. Okay, anyway, um, I think I'm going to uh, just end this episode here. It has been kind of short, but... Wanted to get the, the first game uh, out of the way. And of course, I showed the friendly results earlier in the episode. So that would have taken a bit of time. Um, but I do want to thank everybody for watching. It was a good first game. Hopefully we can continue in the next two group games. Uh, I will see you for those. Till then, bye for now.